favor of of favor Day six, day seven, day eight, day nine, day ten, day eleven, day twelve, day thirteen. Give him thanks. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for strength for me, for the team, for us group. Thank you for the testimonies that we are experiencing on Hallelujah Challenge. The avalanche of testimonies the souls that are saved thank you for the testimony of the person that was delivered from death who could have plunged into the ocean from third mainland bridge thank you or maybe had a terrible collision thank you for your angels that intervened thank you we give you thanks we give you glory we give you praise we thank you because tonight or this morning is one of favor someone your people our nation is about to step into a season of unprecedented uncommon unparalleled favor we give you thanks in jesus mighty name amen just a few house cleaning before we begin if you know anybody who should be joining tell them to join we have a strong word today that word on favor came to us in the church and i feel very strongly that as we praise god today the bible says in acts 2 47 i believe praising god and having favor with all men and the lord added to the church such as should be saved there is a favor that is released in praise amen and we'll read some scriptures and then we'll pray scriptures on favor. Somebody's life is about to change in 24 hours. Another in 48 hours. Another this month. In the name of Jesus. If this lady is watching, she's my friend, she joins. She's, um, she's supposed to be a celebrity or something unknown. I hope she's watching because I was sleeping, praying. I saw her in my vision. Some kele, get ready for favor. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I know she's one of our followers. I just had it. I just I was about to wake up when I just saw her. Amen. And I was just praying. I had to sleep. Thank God for strength. Some of us have 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 walked, done some crazy work today. Spoke in church, went to Ogba for Pastor Daniel, went to a crusade around Redeem Camp, just coming back. But I feel refreshed by the Spirit of God. I won't do it again. <laughs> Amen. Are you ready for tonight? Amen. And then there is somebody streaming Hallelujah Challenge on a YouTube challenge. It's not us. Now, what these guys do? is to monetize. If you notice, there is no Hallelujah Challenge video that is monetized intentionally. We could make a hell of money from it if you check. So, none of it is monetized intentionally because we want to keep the platform devoid of any financial you know, interference because we want pure fire. So, please, if it's not Nathaniel Basi main don't connect. 
Amen. Because those people will be streaming and making money. We are not monetizing, hallelujah, challenge at all. Yes, just it's a consecration that we have. We need money, but we've just decided that we want the fire of God. Not that it's bad, but I've just decided. So if you find another channel, don't watch from there. And if you've not subscribed to our YouTube channel, I wonder what you're waiting for. <laughs> Amen. Nathaniel Bassi Main. What did I say? Nathaniel Bassi Main. Hallelujah. Are you ready to praise God? Let's give him thanks for the 13th. We give you thanks. We thank you. We give you glory. Thank you, Jesus. Acts 16.25. Acts 16.25. Want to go and at midnight Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God and the prisoners heard them and suddenly there was a great earthquake so that the foundations of the prison were shaken and immediately all the doors were open and everyone's bands were loose tonight as we praise everyone's bands will be loose in the name of Jesus everyone's bounds will be loose in the name of Jesus let's go to Exodus 12 Kai I don't know who is ready for favor <laughs> I know what favor is so hey. somebody shout favor you don't shout it like you want it shout favor Exodus 12 36 we will, we will pray some dangerous scriptures on favor. Want to go? And the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians so that they lent unto them such things as they required and they spoiled the Egyptians. This week, God will show you favor. Amen. Say this week, I am entering to a season of unprecedented favor in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus say I will find favor this week open your mouth and pray that prayer ha <laughs> In Jesus' mighty name. Psalm 44 verse 3, NLT. Let's just read the scriptures on favor. So, let's get them ready. Multimedia, I'm reading them down because I want you to have them. Don't whine me when I call for the scriptures. You cause me to unwind you. <laughs> let's go. They did not conquer the land with their swords. It was not their own strong arm that gave them victory. It was your right hand and strong arm and the blinding light from your face that helped them from, for you loved them. Put the King James for me. King James of the same scripture. Good. Want to go. For they got not the land in possession by their own sword. Neither did they own I'm saved but, the, but thy right hand and thy arm and the light of thy countenance because thou hast a favor unto them. Somebody would get some mind-blowing breakthroughs this week. And it would not be because you have strategy. It would be the hand of God, the countenance of God, and the favor of God. Amen. Let me give you one more scripture. Psalm 85. He says, Lord, thou hast been favorable unto thy land. Thou hast brought back the captivity of Jacob. God's favor will turn around our captivity. I want to build your faith with these scriptures. Job 33, verse 26. You see, 
one of the ways we assess that favor. Job 33 verse 26. One, oh, she's not there. One to go. He shall pray unto God. And what will happen? He shall do what? Pray unto God. And he shall what? Be fair. He shall see his face with joy. For he will render unto man his. So one of the ways we assess that favor is how? As you pray. Say, Adua. So when you pray, you will pray today. Kai. Okay, let's start. I'll give more scriptures later. And those of you at home, please write it down so that you pray them this week. Of course, you know, Psalm 102 verse 13. Psalm 102 verse 13. One, let's read. Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Yeah, the set time. Say, today is the set time of my favor. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. We give glory to the Lord. He reigns. We give glory to the Lord. He reigns. He reigns. He reigns. He reigns. We give glory to the Lord. He reigns. We give glory. I know today was a long day in service. That Ogbonosu priest that, that I'm seeing here now. Oh yeah, everybody jump, 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 jump. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody run hallelujah. Today is a day of favor. Hey, 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 hey. hey, hey, hey. Say hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. We give glory to the Lord. He reigns. We give glory to the Lord. He reigns. We give glory. We give glory to the Lord. We give glory. We give glory to the Lord. He reigns. We give glory. We give glory to the Lord. He reigns. Oh. He reigns. He reigns. He reigns. song for nothing. I heard this song on my way here. I heard this song. Oh, we give glory.
not clearing the road for a massive truck of favor. What is your name? Say favor. What is your name? Favor is your name. Favor. What is your name? Professor!
next Wednesday. That's how you enter the spotlight this week. Somebody come more like into your wedding reception. Is that your dancing? Next
says this is the day who has made it the Lord and that Lord is my father I may join heir with him so by extension I co-own the day and the one who owns the day decides how to go say this is the day that the Lord my father has made therefore I will rejoice and be glad in it Say, I reap favor from today. Say, wherever my name is mentioned, say, favor speaks for me. Open your mouth and bless that prayer. If you've never experienced favor, you need to experience favor. You should not live life without the favor of God. You should not live life I know what it is to have the favor of God. You don't want to live any other way. Let favor rest on you. And Jesus increased in favor before God and man. See, I find favor before man and God. Before God and man. I find favor. I find favor. I find favor. Favor surrounds me as a shield. Favor surrounds me as a shield. You surround me. Keep praying, keep praying. With many victories. Jehovah Nisi, you're my banner. You come before me. You find my battles. Jehovah Nisi. Jehovah Nisi. You surround me. You surround me with many victories. Hey. Jehovah Nisi. You're my. Jehovah, 
Jehovah Nisi. Jehovah Nisi. You know, every time we talk about favor, people think it's just for material things. It's not. Do you know that wives can find favor in the sight of their husband? Many times when marriages fall apart, it's because people have run out of favor. When people say, you know what? I just don't, I'm tired of you. I don't, I don't feel like seeing you anymore. I don't want it anymore. It's because they've run out of favor. Hallelujah. May you never run out of favor. Amen. When we close, I'm going to pray the priestly blessing over you. Numbers 6, 24 to 26. God told the priest, Aaron and his priest, that every time they proclaim that scripture, that they will be placing his name on God's people. Do you know the source of God's favor? God's countenance. Favor is the smile of God on someone. Favor is heaven's spotlight on someone. So when I say enter the carpet, I know what I was saying. I was saying enter the spotlight. Can you take a prophetic step and enter the spotlight? Favor is heaven's spotlight on a person. Let me tell you. Some of us, our songs are not going to the nations because we are the best songwriters. It's because his favor is on us. Somebody tagged us on something. I don't, I don't share those things. You know, I don't share some things on social media. Listen, I was coming back and they tagged me. It's because they, you know, they tagged me and I saw it. So when I was checking my social media and they said, Tobe Chuku was number one gospel song on some charts since 2008 that no gospel song has entered there. It's not because the song is true. It's because heaven decides to smile on something. Hallelujah. Favor is real. We live in a very hard time in the world. There's so much hardship from fuel to Naira to these. Things are getting more difficult. There's never been a time that the church needs the favor of God. Favor will make your enemy do you good. The Bible says that they found favor in the sight of the Egyptians. They gave them everything they needed. Wherever you are in your home, step into the middle of your place. Prophetically, we're just taking prophetic actions. Favor is heaven's spotlight. It's, it's, it's saying that you're in the center stage. The attention is on you. May heaven's spotlight be on you. Amen. There is a favor. There is a favor for marriage. Hope you know that. Yes. Oh, yes. There's, okay, let me show you the scripture. Trust me. When I say, I don't share revelation that is not backed up with scripture. <laughs> Who was Jacob supposed to marry at first? Who? No, 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 at first. Liana. And I don't forget my Bible. This is a good one. Sorry, Rachel. Rachel. Okay. Yes. It was supposed to be Rachel. Then they gave him Leah. They deceived. But let me show you something. Genesis 29, 17. Okay, so my, my idea was he was supposed to marry Rachel at first. So that was the person his heart went for. Do you know why that happened? But they deceived him and brought Leah. But because favor was on Rachel, he fought for what? For seven years. What will make a man spend another seven years, meaning 14 years, to get one person? Let me show you the scripture. Are you ready? Yes, sir. See, when the favor of God is on you, that company will do everything to get you. There will be people more qualified. They will say, we just want you. Genesis 29, 17. Let's read. One to go. Leah was what? Tender eye. But what did Rachel have? Rachel was beautiful and what? Well favored. Say well favored. It was that favor that made a man say, I will, I will work for 14 years for you. Can we release the favor for marital destinies right now? 
Father, the favor, your word says it is not good word for man to be alone. There are too many of your children around the world. And see, let me say this. I cringe at people. Now, I said it yesterday. There are, we shouldn't major on the minors and minor on the words major. It doesn't mean the minors are not important. There are people who say, oh, they are praying for marriage. It means you are not deep. A lot of them are hypocrites because behind these scenes, they are crying to God for breakthroughs. I pastor, so I know what it is to have a church of people, you know, who have come of age to get something and it is not there. It pains me. You see young Christian girls, good, serving God, loving God, but you see, are going through stuff. Young guys, because, you know, they are yet to enter their season. Your time has come. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Amen. as you step into the spotlight prophetically you step into your season of favor yeah. say we release the favor for marital destinies right now right now right now no more disappointments open your mouth and pray there is a favor that makes a person decide this is the person i want and they work for it In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Still on that scripture. What will make a man serve 14 years for one person? Say favor. favor. Say favor. favor. Don't let anybody who, who, who tells you. See. God himself said it is not good for man to be alone. It was God that said it. It was Jehovah God, the one who made the earth. He said he will set the word, the solitaries to families. Can we prophesy? By the next hallelujah challenge, may we have avalanche of weddings. And Jacob loved, verse 18, and Jacob loved Rachel and said, I will serve thee seven years. For Rachel, thy younger daughter. And Laban said, It is better that I give her to thee than that I should give her to another man. And Jacob served seven years for Rachel, and they seemed unto him but a few days for the love he had for her. Because of favor, that seven years was like seven days. Somebody say favor. Favor, favor will make men bend over backwards to help you. Amen. I know what I'm talking about. May you not live one day without favor. Amen. This 13th day of the Hallelujah Challenge marks the day God's favor came upon you. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. I was going to South Africa with a group of Christians for a conference. They didn't want to let us in. But the young man at the immigration looked at me years ago. He said, who is that slender person? I will let you in because of that slim guy. There's something on him. We, they got him because of me. When I got to the, the hotel room, our HD, our HD said to me, what are you doing that we are not doing? Somebody say favor. favor. Oh yes, there's something called favor. May you not live one day without favor. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's pray another scripture. I like this one. Esther 8. Esther 8 verse 5. Esther 8 verse 5 says, And said, If it please the king. No, no, no. That's not the one I want. Where are you, scripture? Esther 5 verse 2. Esther 5 verse 2. Please write the scriptures down. Esther 5 verse 2. Thank you, multimedia. Let's read together. Can we read together? One to go. 
And it was so when the king saw, say saw Esther. Say saw Esther. The queen standing in the court that she obtained favor in his sight. And the king held out to Esther the golden scepter that was in his hands. So Esther drew near and touched the top of the scepter. In other words, when people see you, let them see favor. Amen. When people set their eyes on you, just by sighting you, let favor just announce you. Amen. Say, Father, Father this, week, this week, this month, this, month, this, year, this year, at the sight, at the sight of me, let favor speak. When people see me, let favor announce. Let favor announce my coming. Let favor announce my coming. In ministry, in my career, in my marriage. Open your mouth and pray. When they cite my document, when they cite my name, when they cite my picture, let favor announce me. Let favor speak for me. Remember that scripture we prayed in Job? He prayed and God answered with favor. Guys, let's come back to our instrument. Let's come back. Let's come back. Let's come back. Let's play. I drink from the fountain of mercy. Keep praying. Keep praying. Say when men see me, let them favor me. I can't hear you. Say, when men see me, let them favor me. When they hear of me, let them favor me. Open your mouth and pray. your mother pray say when men set their eyes on me Favor will announce me. Favor will speak for me. When they see me, they will favor me. At the sight of me, they will favor me. Whatever it is you are looking for this week, that is according to God's will. Hey, say when I show up, favor will show up. Say when I show up, favor will show up. Open your mouth and pray. Those of you going in for interviews this week, when you show up, let favor show up. When they cite me, let them favor me. When they cite me, when they see my picture, when they see my document, when they see anything that represents me, let men favor me. Raise these prophetic songs. I drink from, I drink from the fountain of mercy. I soar on the wings of your Favor, your mercy, your mercy is speaking for me. Oh, I drink from, I drink from the fountain of mercy. I soar on the wings. I Of 
embraced. Don't just enjoy the song, prophesy with me. Doors of great faith, your mercy, your mercy, your mercy is speaking for me. Your mercy is speaking for me. Your mercy is speaking for me. Your mercy is Psalm 18, verse 44. We spoke about when they cite you. Now, when they hear of you too. When they hear of you. Hallelujah. Psalm 18, verse 44. Psalm 18, verse 44. Are you ready? Let's read one to go. As soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. The strangers shall submit themselves. Hallelujah. Say, Father, because of your favor, when men hear of me, they shall favor me. They shall work for my good. Open your mouth and pray. When they hear of me, when the sound of my name bless. They will favor me. Open your mouth and pray. Father, as your people go into this week for meetings, for whatever it is they do, exams, appointments, whatever they go for, when their name comes up, let favor speak for them. Say, wherever my name is mentioned, let favor speak for me. When my name comes up, let favor speak for me. Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion. For the time, yea, the set time to favor her has come. speaking for me now put your children there favor speaks for my children David and Zoe and all my spiritual children favor favor uncommon unprecedented One more minute, pray. There will be a heavy downpour. Go to the key, go to the key. There will be a heavy downpour. There will be a heavy, there will be a heavy of favor. I looked at this thing on my phone there, monitoring. I declare that your people will find favor in the nations of the earth. Amen. That the man is too weak. Amen. I declare that doors of nations are open to your people. Amen. The nations of this earth, wherever it finds the children of God, will favor them. Stretch forth your hands. You know, 
I'm not telling you what I've not done for years. Stop, stop. See, I'm telling you, I shared my testimony. I keep sharing them. I have practiced everything I tell you to do. Some of you here, a lot who have worked with me know, and, and I've seen that. These words we speak, they are dangerous. They come to pass. Remember that journal I told you I wrote things? I wrote it there that I'll go to the nations of the earth. That I'll take this gospel through music to the nations of the earth. And the nations of the earth are opened. Not just for me. Uh, they've opened for me and I'm opening it for other people. Do you know that by the grace of God, now I write recommendations for gospel music ministers for their special O visas. I, I write it. Oh, I sign it. But there was a time they used to slam me because the time hadn't come. There, there's nothing I didn't do. But when favor showed up, Hallelujah. when favor showed up, Father, favor in the nations of the earth. Yeah. We call forth for favor for your people. Yeah. Favor to possess the earth. Yeah. Put Psalm 44 verse 3. There is a, a doctorate student. You are having a very difficult time. I heard that word while I was at home. I heard doc doctorate. It's as though your, what do they call them? The lecturers? No. The professors and supervisors. A particular one has just decided that, how can this black person just come and then, I just, I was, I was seeing that conversation. How can you just come and take the thing like that? And they are frustrating you. This week, this week, as I bow my knees, if God has called us, and if he's the one who encompasses his people with favor, may you find favor even before your enemies. If a man's way pleases the Lord, he causes what? Even his enemies to be at peace. Because you've connected to this altar of praise, may favor speak for you. May you experience a rapid Turn around. I use you as a point of contact to every other student connected to this earlier challenge going through a difficulty of some sort. May favor make room for you. In the name of Jesus. Psalm 44 verse 3. Psalm 44 verse 3. You will hear that testimony. That doctorate one. Mark my words. You will hear it. For they got not what? The land. Please give us the NL. Okay, just leave it there. For they got not what? The land in possession for their own sword. Can we prophesy with that first one? May real estate come to your hands by favor. By this strange decree of favor. I know many times when you read stuff like this, you can spiritualize it. You say, The land of my destiny. Start with the literal land first. I always say that this the earth is a lot and the fullness thereof. My father owns the land, so I must have a stake in it. One of the ways we have dominion is what? Land. The reason why we are enjoying this place, you know, and being free is because you know it was paid for. We own it. That's why we are free. We can come anytime. If it was under rent, they would tell us somebody is busy. There's something that ownership does gives you dominion this hallelujah challenge by strange decrees of favor may real estate come into the hands of God's people may the favor to possess the earth come to you may you buy properties at ridiculous prices may the forces of the Gentiles come to you May the wealth that the sinners and the wicked have heaped begin to be transferred in this season. Say we decree supernatural wealth transfer. Open your mouth and pray that scripture. By the decree of favor. That includes real estate deals for they got not this land in possession by their own sword. It won't be by your strategy. Realtors, developers, receive grace and favor right now. My God. 
in Jesus' name. I remember a dream I had. Maybe it's a word for someone. I told a friend of mine who told me about a property in Scotland. I had a dream where two people, two people were in a conversation. So somebody was saying, you, you can make 500 to 1,000 pounds, whether in a week or month. 500 to 1,000 pounds. It was in a dream. I saw that. Maybe that's a confirmation for someone. Perhaps to invest in real estate. We decree in the name of Jesus. Because, you see, my city through what prosperity shall be spread abroad. I went for a crusade today. I told you I went for a crusade today. Thank you, Jesus, for reminding me. My good friend, Pastor Tokwe, great child of God. I mean, you know, the reason why I had to go for that crusade is because, you see, I love it when people reach out to people that can't pay you back. Ibafo. That's near camp. He does his crusade every year. February. Listen to this story. I'm sure he finances it by himself. Very humble child of God. And he works with, I think, power. And from time to time, he helps us with power and all. He was with us at um, Thy Kingdom Come in London. Now, during Hallelujah Challenge, I normally should not accept any other invitations. I don't travel except I have one very... You know, maybe a father in the faith just says to me, Matanya, please come. Those are the days that I have to put um, some of the guys. By the way, they will lead th this week. Amen. And Apostle Selman has also said he will come. I said, <laughs> work it. <laughs> Mercy Chiwo will come. <laughs> he will. <laughs> he said, I hate the downpour. You don't want to. Ghana. <laughs> Amen. Okay. So, so he. He does this crusade for the entire community. And I got there and I heard that the the Oba also, you know, decided for Jesus openly, gave his life. Anyway, alongside the crusade, they feed the poor, they give food. This is just one man doing it. Very humble guy. He shared a story for me. Now they were going to give out food. I'm talking about kingdom wealth now. So when we are praying for wealth, some of us are not praying to show off wealth. It's because we want to do things for God. We want to raise the poor. We want to build the old waste places. It's not to, how many clothes can we wear? I don't even buy shoes. Somebody gave me this one. That's why I was dancing like this. <laughs> you know, when you're wearing a good shoe like this, you, you, hallelujah. Anyway, so they're giving out food. And then they said that um, children should take for their parents. If you are a parent, you have to come with a child. And then a woman went to take one kilo of rice, just one kilo. They fight for one kilogram of rice. So they said to the woman, we won't give you. Where is your baby? She said, I'm a nursing mother. I can't bring the baby. This, they said, we're not giving her. In desperation, just to prove that she's a, 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 a nursing mother, she brought out her breast pressed the milk and it splashed just to prove that's the level of poverty and after she did that they said take 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 because they were embarrassed that's why we need wealth may you find favor for kingdom wealth in the name of jesus you will get things this week not because of your strategy but because of god's right hand because of the light of his countenance and because he has favor towards you. Say, I receive favor for exploits. Say, this week, I will do exploits by the favor of God. In Jesus' mighty name. Lift your hands and thank God for favor. Thank him. Let me give you a word. This week, be favor conscious. What did I say? This week, be, be what? Don't talk victim. Talk like a favor. A favored person. I'm favored. If you go to a place and you register, you say, no, I'm favored. I am preferred. The message of God is speaking for me. No matter what happens, don't speak contrary. Amen. This week, be what? Be favor conscious. Be favor conscious. Don't forget that phrase. Amen. Take your journals. In this atmosphere of God's favor, it already. We prayed it. 
by proxy. This week you will find favor before the Egyptians. Father, as we wave these journals, as we wave these journals, let your favor rest on them. Decorate these journals with answers. Some Kelly, let me say it again. I saw you in my vision if you are watching. There's a strange door of favor that's about to open up to you. May you handle it well. It's for the kingdom. In the name of Jesus. And when you walk through those doors, represent Christ well. May you not lose your mind. May you not lose your faith. For the blessing of the Lord only make it rich. It adds no sorrow. Wave it and just shout favor. Shout favor. Say favor. Say favor. Say the favor of God. Rest on this request. Say by the decree of God's favor. Every, every request on this journal. According to the will of God. Have all come to pass. Now let's sing, see what the Lord has done. What we waited for See what the Lord Just one more time Our wave is an act of faith See what the Lord called Eniola, may God's favor rest on you. In the name of Jesus. Now to a very special set of people. Before I forget, Apostle may just show up today. We exchanged a text and he said he's prepared to make that sacrifice. I know I heard he said he didn't want to travel this election time. That's why there's favor. Amen. Amen. Favor will make you have what you're not supposed to have. When you're not supposed to have. Amen. If you're not born again, you are missing out on this favor. This favor is for those of us that are in Christ. Say in Christ. The Bible says, as a shield, it surrounds the righteous with favor. It surrounds the righteous with favor as a shield. Proverbs word. 5 verse 12. Is this Psalm or Proverbs? I think it's one of those. Psalm. Psalm 5 verse 12. He surrounds the righteous. It's Psalm 5 verse 12. Psalm 5 verse 12. He surrounds the righteous with favor as a shield. And the righteousness we're talking about is not your good works. It's the one that is imputed upon you by Christ Jesus. All you need to do is confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus died and rose again for your sins and that you accept that which he has already done and you will be saved and you qualify for that favor. So lift up your right hand and say with me, Lord Jesus, I come to you today. I acknowledge I am a sinner and do not qualify for your favor. But right now, I come to you I ask that you forgive me. Wash me in your blood. Cleanse me from my sins. Break the power of sin. And fill me with your Holy Spirit. I confess you, Jesus, as my Lord and my Savior. I declare that my sins are forgiven. And I'm a new man in Christ Jesus. Let me pray for you. Father, as they have spoken in your ears, so shall it be. Save them to the uttermost. We declare their sins eternally forgiven in Jesus' mighty name. Welcome, dear favored one. After the Hallelujah Challenge today, please go to 
hallelujahchallengelive.com click on new converts slash slash the dedication fill the form and we will get back to you in the course of the challenge god bless you <coughs> those of you who want to partner with us <coughs> you want to send a seed and offering to this team and also help to you know cater to what we do and also <coughs> um, help with logistics go ahead to the um website hallelujah challenge life you will find a page that talks of partnership and also when our guests come please we would want you to give to them directly make them experience an earthquake and tsunami amen of god's blessings god bless you see you later today for what day what god bless you favored one ah let me give you a scripture how you greet yourself this week you know that was scripture Look one, look one. Let's go there. Let's go there. See, everything must be in the word. Though. It is the word that works. Let's look at it. Look one. The angel came to who? Get it for me if you find it. Luke one twenty eight. Luke one twenty eight. Post this on your profile. You know. Design a t shirt this week. And, you know, address yourself like like that. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, thou art highly favored. The Lord is with you. Blessed art thou amongst women. Say to yourself, favored one. The Lord is with you. You are blessed. Dear favored one, the Lord is with you. And you are blessed. How will you greet yourself this week? Say the favored one. The Lord is with you. And you are blessed. Amen. God bless you. Just to mention, our talking drummer lost his mom when? This week. Amen. So let's pray for him. Father, we pray for comfort of the spirit. As the mom goes to be with the Lord, we declare that he will know your comfort. Surround him. Holy Spirit, you are paraclete, the one who stands by us. For this purpose, you came to console, to strengthen. Father, help him in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you. See you tomorrow.